Check it out. Speaking of the looks that kill, the song goes with my next rider. One of, if not my favorite, ranch bronc riders out of Canyon, Texas. She's drawn the horse crossfire. You heard me correctly. I said she. Bobby Shlom is the young lady that's ready to nod her head and take money away from other working cowboys. Crossfire is the horse. Bobby, we want to beat 74 points, and you know that this horse can do it, I'm sure. shoot and lowered herself down in that cack and ready to nod her face. Trying to beat 74 points. Come on, Abby. We want to see it. Pretty lady that nods her face and stays right there at it. I'm telling you, she rides plenty of them. It's good to see her. I hadn't seen her in quite a few months. that I'm going into it just like any other guy. I mean, I would like to be looked at as a, a bronc rider that happens to be a girl instead of vice versa. 24-year-old Kayla Muscle comes by her love of horses honestly. She and her three brothers and sisters were raised on a farm in Chilliwack with 11 horses. Her entire family has competed in the rodeo, but Kayla was always a little different. Oh yes, always from the time she is. As she waits for her turn at the Cloverdale Rodeo, it's natural to wonder what she's thinking. If she is, like any normal person should be, terrified. I don't ever get too scared to get on anything. I'm a little nervous, maybe just anticipating what I'm going to actually be doing, but not to physically get on the animal. I'm not scared about that I might get hurt or whatever else. It's just sort of the name of the game and something you have to deal with. Just before your daughter goes out there, how are you feeling? Very nervous. Very nervous, yes. It's scary when she's in the chute. That's where all the accidents usually happen because there's, you know, very little room for them to move.
She did really well. Yeah, that's a tough horse. He's strong. Well, I think she did an awesome job there. Like, she stuck with him pretty good there until the very end. Just her getting on that horse and being there was great. She did a good job. Great job. I'm glad to see her do it. I think it's a great deal. Yeah, my horse is kind of tough. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think I did the best I could on him. And there's always next time, I guess. And as far as Kayla's concerned, there will be many next times. It out of her system. <laughs> you know, moms can only take so many times watching their daughter climb out of rock in the chute. Bucking horse of the year, Virgil of the Bar C5 Rodeo Company. One in a million. I always tell Virgil, I don't think I'd ever flank a horse. Bear down now. Thank you, Sean. Again. All right. Bear down. Hey Luke. Luke. You got a ring? Hey, just wash. You got a good, you got a good. Hey Mike. You know my help. Get up under that rope, wit. Shit. You alright? Did you kick your heel or what? No, I just hit my legs and my head. Good matchup. Here tonight, let's do it. Alondra Castaneda, Kingsville, Texas. You got this, Allie, all right? Just mental preparation. You just get to think that everything is going to go well and it, that you are going to ride and that you are going to cover and make a good score and stay positive. Slide up in there, okay? Remember, get up there and sit solid. Be squared. Be squared on him. All right, Alondra, let's ride. Come on, help that horse. Sit up, sit up, sit up, Valley. Sit up, Valley. Sit up, Valley. Morgan Hansen of Dallas, Bellevue, Montana. Just being here, being here for the finals and being able to be a part of it, it's huge. When you're ready, let's go for it. nervous. I just, you know, I always hope that I win money, you know, so I can help with my mom and help with the expenses because, you know, it is financially exhausting to get down here. I just hope that I can help my mom out with, you know, getting down here and getting back. Oh boy. I've been sick for the past two weeks and so I still feel a little bit weaker today. Uh, I still don't feel 100%. Let's go, babe. There's a little bit of, you know, nervousness, obviously, just because I want to ride so bad, and I want to make my mom proud. When you're ready, let's go for it. For Sarah, the ride is weighing heavy on her mind.
A recent injury while working horses at home left her with a concussion. I'm just kind of worried about my concussion. I've been stressing all day about it. You're sending yourself like you always do, babe, all right? Just make a hell of a ride. That's all you got to do, babe. You got this, all right? Whoa, hello. You good? Surf good? That horse is ready to fuck. Sarah, you can do it, Sarah. I want to be the first to welcome you out Saturday Night Live at the Dripping Springs Fair and Rodeo. Second Henrietta, one of the newest riders, Allie, has learned that staying on for eight seconds is as hard as it looks. Allie, get Let's go to shoot board, number right? four, the lady that is new to the right. tour get in under. July, Allie Castaneda from Kingsville, Texas. Last night was the champ in the Bronx ride. Flop here, the bucking horse, and we got drunk. Yeah. Sit up, Allie, yeah. sit up. Sit up, Allie. Whoa. Clocked in at 7.58 seconds. She just misses a score, but has improved tremendously with each ride. Brittany Miller, the number one lady in the Ranch Bronc Riding Association. Come on, Britt, make a ride now. This Montana cowgirl has got a chance to separate herself. Spur the hair off of it. Take your shot when you get she it, Britt. make some money, put some separation. each other down between Brittany Miller and Dick Wimberly. If you're ready, girl, get with him, all right? That has been dip and tuck. it but as a feeling I felt like I was gonna get stomped on for some reason I don't know why and I, I fought through it and I said you're nodding your head you're riding your horse you're gonna go out and do this because it's what you do well I nodded my head gate open I come out and I felt good for a second and I don't know what happened I think I quit riding something happened in my brain that just went there and then I come off to the right and my left foot got hung up over the saddle and I guess it was, what, three or four jumps, and so I'm super disappointed. Uh, I've been struggling mentally today for some reason. It's gonna be interesting coming back from this, because it was pretty scary, because it can kill you. That hang-up can kill you. 